What's up guys, it's Nicole and I am here with a what's in my hospital bag and diaper bag video. What the hell is going on over here? Heck. But I figured I would consolidate these two videos because the diaper bag and the hospital bag are what's going to be going with us obviously when we go into labor and have this baby. And for those of you that don't know, I am 38 weeks pregnant today. So I am due in T minus two weeks. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my diaper bag, hospital bag, and then what's also in the diaper bag. So there is, I think, a few things that still need to be put in the bag, but um, I'll go, go over those when we get there. So first off is the hospital bag. And we, for our hospital bag, are just using a suitcase. We usually use like this suitcase for um, camping. But um, yeah, I figured we would just use this for the hospital bag. Sean hasn't put anything in this bag yet for him, for his stay at the hospital. And so we'll see if he actually gets to that before the baby's born. <laughs> first things first is I have a bunch of clothes in here. I'm just gonna, I guess, pull stuff out. I really didn't want to pull stuff out, but I guess since we're here doing this video, might as well just pull stuff out and show it to you guys. So. Um, first things first, I have this comfy over shirt that I'm just going to be wearing around the hospital after the baby's born. Um, sweatpants that I will probably wear the entire time we're at the hospital. A bedtime shirt, so it's just like a baggy bedtime shirt. And then some pajama bottoms. And then I also have this, uh, and then of course I have underwear and socks in here, but there's no need to pull those out and show them to you. <laughs> Um, I also have a sports bra, which I wanted to have for just in case I decide to get into the hot tub or the bath or whatever during the labor and delivery, then I have something so I'm not just all like willy-nilly naked, you know, or completely naked. I wanted to have like a sports bra to wear in the bath. And then I also have a nursing bra. This nursing bra is not going to do when I bought this. The smallest size they had was a medium and then the biggest size they had was like extra, extra large. And I really wanted to just check off the nursing bra off my list. And so I went and got a medium and I was thinking like, oh, it might be a little bit small, but it should be okay. And that was probably when I was like seven months pregnant and when I put it on or tried it on that day It was like so freaking tight and so small. So I have it in here uh, Just because but I am gonna have to get a bigger one because this little guy is just not going to work Also in here something that I don't have is um, I do have my makeup bag, but there is absolutely no makeup in here I wanted to get like some little concealer or you know put my concealer in here for the makeup and stuff and that was probably just going to be it. it was just concealer and like a beauty blender or something but um maggie and i share concealer and so i don't want to put the concealer in here and also i don't want to steal the concealer away from her while i'm in the hospital so um i'm probably gonna have to go buy a concealer just you know to put in the hospital bag which i really don't want to do so i might not even bring makeup to the hospital but I got a little makeup bag in here just in case I do decide to bring makeup okay and then I've got um, a handful of nursing pads now that I'm thinking about it I think I might want to bring like a lower cut shirt so that it's easier to breastfeed I guess I could breastfeed in the in this and this thing so I don't know I'm, I might pack a lower cut shirt that is easier for breastfeeding. And then I also have a 10 piece travel kit, which has like the little mini shampoos. It has lotion, deodorant, toothpaste, um, floss. I think there's, yep, there's a toothbrush in there and just a bunch of super useful toiletries. I wanted to get like little mini sized ones of these and Sean and I found one that had basically everything that I needed in here. So we got this and it came with a little bag, which was super nice. That is basically what's in the hospital bag for us. So there's a couple things that I forgot to mention that I'm adding to the hospital bag or that was in the hospital bag that I forgot to show you guys. But one of the main things is chapstick. That is one of the main things that I realized with my last labor and delivery 
that was like super important because when you're in labor for so many hours you get really bad chapped lips and really dry lips but i do have chapstick in my bag i just forgot to show it to you guys it's in one of my little side pockets okay and then the diaper bag so in the diaper bag right off the bat on the sides where oh that's where that was okay so i had a bottle that was sitting on my floor the other day and i was like what the hell is this doing here and so i washed it and now it's on the dry rack but it's supposed to be in here. I was wondering where the hell it came from. I have no idea how it fell out. But I guess now that I think about it, I probably won't need a bottle because I'm gonna be breastfeeding. But I have these Dr. Brown's bottles in there anyways. Um, in the outside pocket here, we have the little grooming kit. I had this with Aaliyah, and so I had to get one again because I did use it a lot. But it's got all of this stuff in there. So it's got the comb. Oh, combs over your comb or brush comb um nail clippers toothbrush which baby won't need for a while little nail files the little sucker thingies nose sucker thingies the little papers for the thermometer and then a thermometer is in there alcohol swabs and then this little bottle thing which I have no idea what those are for. I think it's medicine. I don't, I really have no idea, but it's there. And this will stay in the bag uh, even after we leave the hospital. Some of this stuff is just in there for the hospital, but I think most of it will be in the bag for the majority of time. <laughs> and then also in this pocket, we have in, like in this outside pocket, we have desitin, so diaper rash cream and then a little travel size of nipple cream. On this diaper bag, it came with like this little thing and we just put binkies in there, which I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. Oh my goodness. And these binkies have Bugs Bunny and other Looney Tunes on them. And we had to pick these up because Sean's last name is Looney and the baby's last name will be Looney. And I, yeah, so Sean was super excited about the Looney Tune binkies. And Let's see, in this other outside pocket, so on this other side over here, we have another package of binkies, which I won't open until we need. Or if like the baby doesn't like the Looney Tune binkies, then we'll give these a go. But, oh wait, these are six plus months. So these are gonna be a while. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got the baby's little outfits in here. So we've got little newborn pajamas. I don't remember if they like, I'm pretty sure that at the hospital they give you like little hospital outfits and then you don't dress the baby in your own clothes until after you leave the hospital, but I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem if we dressed him in his little sleeper while we were staying there. And then we have a little hat and then his coming home outfit, which is these pants, this onesie, and then a long sleeve if he needs it. And then we've got a receiving blanket in there. And then a swaddle blanket, which this uh, blanket was made for us by uh, my niece. So my older sister's daughter, who is eight or nine now, and she's just got into the hobby of sewing and she made this for us and I thought it was so super cute. It's got little monsters on it. And then we've got little mittens and socks. And of course, a pile of diapers, which there's way more in here than this, but uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of diapers in there. But there is some other things I wanted to add to the diaper bag or to the hospital bag, like meh an actual like fluffy blanket and this blanket i was so excited when i bought it if you can see it, it's lion king and i love it so much Ooh! i'm gonna add this to the bag and then i also put our wipes in the bag and this is the big thing of wipes that we have <laughs> i'm planning on doing homemade wipes so that's why this is like the only like package of like wipes that we have because i'm making my wipes so when we come home from the hospital we'll have our homemade wipes and that is basically it for everything that we have in our hospital and our diaper bag i'm sure there's stuff that like i'm forgetting that i'm going to realize once we get to the hospital but our hospital is actually really great and they supply a lot of like important things like the big pads the uh 
God, what is that stuff called? Basically like postpartum stuff, you know, like after you have the baby, like the mesh underwear, um, the, I want to call it witch hazel. Yeah, it helps, you know, down there after you have the baby. Yeah, they have those pads, those witch hazel pads. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right or if that's even what they're really called. Um, and then they have like ice packs and stuff. And then as long as it's the same as uh, when Aaliyah was born, they also like supply like a bunch of wipes and diapers. But yeah, that is basically everything that's in the diaper and hospital bag. And I am so ready to freaking go into labor and have this baby. So I can't freaking wait. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.